Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Hope you all are doing great. So today's topic of discussion is wisdom tooth removal, the facts, purpose and recovery. So let's start with the quote today. Every tooth in a man's head is more valuable than a diamond. Though this quote doesn't really apply to the Indian population because I have seen the patients not really care about their teeth, they get all their teeth extracted even if they are advised for root canal treatment, the condition is really bad in India. If you are an Indian and if you are watching this video, please do not get your teeth extracted if they can be saved. Please. But keeping that aside and considering the importance of a tooth compared to a diamond, I can totally imagine the face of fear that just everyone makes right before getting their wisdom tooth removed. And we know that getting the wisdom tooth out is not a fun at all. It is a complicated procedure many times and many things have to be considered. So let us watch this video till the end to understand this. If you have your wisdom teeth, you are a wise person. Have you ever heard this before? I hope you have. So does having wisdom teeth makes you wiser? No, they do not make you smarter. These teeth have been called the wisdom teeth because they come at a more mature age, around 17 to 21. Wisdom teeth are also referred to as the third molars. They have variations in the anatomy, so treating them also has this angle because you know most of the time it can have different anatomy which we have to figure out so root canal is also a difficult thing to do in the third molar that is one of the reason why most of the third molars are recommended to be extracted there are more we'll be seeing that as we proceed so you know that when it comes to extraction the patient always wishes no not the wisdom teeth but in most cases, wisdom teeth removal is a good option because their absence won't affect your chewing efficiency. Moreover, they have variations in anatomy as we already discussed and there is less space around the last tooth. Like when you open your mouth, you will find that as you proceed towards the back, the space decreases. So we don't have enough space for the instruments, for the files and it is quite difficult to work in that area. So because of these reasons, root canal restorations are quite difficult in the third molar and often if they are damaged they have caries we advise its extraction it's time to discuss how to relieve wisdom tooth pain warm saline rinses rinsing your mouth can help you find pain relief so try this simple remedy mix a teaspoon of salt in a cup of water warm water or tepid water and stir to dissolve then swish this into your mouth for about 30 to 60 seconds before spitting. However, do not try this if you have a severe pain or if you have swelling. In such cases, rinsing with warm water can aggravate the problem, so it is best to see your dentist immediately. Clove and clove oil. Take a whole clove, do not crush or cut it, and place it in your mouth directly on the spot, causing the most irritation. Keep the clove in your mouth until you experience a numbing sensation. But it is important to remember that these pain relieving measures are a temporary fix. I have a dedicated video on my channel where I have explained more home remedies. But remember that these are temporary fix. Caries and the damage to the tooth which has already happened is not a reversible process. No home treatment can reverse it. It can just relieve the pain for a temporary time. So always visit a dentist and get the treatment done. Otherwise, if you keep on using these home remedies and neglect your dental appointments, you can be in a much severe trouble. So you need an appointment with your doctor to determine if your wisdom tooth should be retained in your mouth or be removed. Now one basic question that might be coming in your mind is that why my wisdom tooth is hurting. So there are various reasons that can cause it. First is positioning. Wisdom teeth that aren't in the right position can allow food to become trapped. That gives cavity causing bacteria a place to grow. Infection. Wisdom tooth can only come out partially out of the bone, not completely like other teeth. So that partially out and partially in tooth also has greater chances for the bacteria to grow and enter the gums and create a place for the infection. This may also lead to pain, swelling and stiffness in your jaw. Crowding. Wisdom tooth are generally the last one to erupt. So when they try to come out, they can start pushing or damaging the neighboring teeth. 
cyst formation wisdom tooth which are impacted that is inside the bone they can form a cyst and it can damage the roots of the nearby teeth or destroy the bone that supports your teeth so if your dentist says that your wisdom teeth are impacted he or she means they are trapped in your jaw or under your gums and you know in that case you have to get it removed better to get it removed because it will cause problem sometime in your life now when we are talking about wisdom tooth removal you must be having a fear of pain 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 don't worry extraction procedures are bearable you don't experience pain because we numb the area before removing the tooth so you will just feel pressure no pain will be felt next question is how is wisdom tooth extraction different from other tooth extraction now wisdom tooth since it is the last tooth of the mouth it can get difficult to reach that area that is one thing also these are usually impacted means they have certain portions of them covered with bone so bone has to be removed surgically and then we have to extract the tooth so it can be a case of surgical extraction so don't compare wisdom tooth removal to a normal tooth removal also the charges of wisdom tooth removal is much higher compared to the other teeth now how soon can we expect you to recover after the wisdom tooth removal so there is a recovery phase of about a week or two after which you will be able to chew and you know do your daily activities as you were doing before post operative care is very important from the patient side so there are certain do's and don't let's see the do's follow all the after care instructions given by your dentist change the gauze every 30 minutes as needed take rest on the day of the extraction eat soft food on the day and for the first 24 hours have everything at room temperature or cold and after 24 hours you have to take everything warm so this you have to do it very religiously first 24 hours cold after 24 hours hot and you have to also do warm saline rinses after 24 hours four to five times a day this will speed up your healing process make sure you don't swish the water very vigorously inside your mouth just take warm saline water with the salt and then tilt your head towards the site of extraction keep it there for a minute or so and then just spit it and you have to keep the area clean use a very soft bristle brush to gently you know remove the food that is trapped in that area let's see the don't don't drink sugar caffeinated carbonated or alcoholic beverages for the first few days don't use a straw because the sucking action might dislodge the wound's blood clot and this will delay healing don't eat foods that are chewy very spicy or get stuck between the teeth don't engage in any type of spitting because it may dislodge the blood clot so all the blood that you are getting after the extraction you have to take that in okay don't have to spit outside otherwise you know the bleeding will not stop don't smoke or chew tobacco products so that's all for today if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them just post it in the comments below i hope you found this video helpful do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a like because it really motivates me I will see you in the next video take care alhafiz